think I know what it is. Let's do an unboxing. That's right, my friends. I did pick up a brand new GoPro Hero 9 Black. Pretty excited. Let's take a look what's in the box. As you can see, GoPro has done away with all that plastic packaging they used to have, and they have given us with the Hero 9 this nice little case, nice little travel case for it. The actual camera. Charging cord, looks like USB-A to USB-C. The obligatory mounts, looks like a, a helmet mount, the new battery, and the slide mount. All right, I figured I'd take it out to the dock to tell you about this camera and some of the features on it. So let's just talk about the elephant in the room, and that is GoPro has now included a front-facing screen. The Osmo Action did it, what, a year and a half ago? GoPro has finally caught up, and it is fantastic. Now, when you're looking at the screen, it's a bit, it's a bit slow to catch up, but that doesn't affect the actual video footage. When you play it back, it'll be smooth, but the front screen just gives you the option to position yourself when you're actually talking to the camera. Can you even see me on there right now? Because I can see my entire face and where my head is in relation to the frame. If you had a GoPro before this one, this one is, is noticeably bigger. Now, GoPro says that the battery also lasts 30% longer, but I'd estimate that this is about, it's quite a bit bigger. I'd say at least 10% bigger than the 8 and the 7 and everyone before that that was all the same size. The people asked and GoPro listened. They have included a removable front lens. They took that away for the 8, and I guess when you drop it, you scratch it, there is no way to replace it. Those days are gone, we can now replace the front lens. Let's talk about specs. Now, this is a 5K camera, a 5K camera. It is capable of shooting 5K at 30 frames a second, and something I want to bring up that I noticed is that when you are shooting in 5K 30, and when you're shooting in 1080p at 240 frames a second, the front screen does not work. It does not come on at those frame rates. For every other frame rate, you're good to go. Just don't be scared if you put it on 5K 30 and the screen goes black. It's not just about video. This camera now shoots 20 megapixel photos. Let me just go for a run and tell you all about the latest HyperSmooth feature. The Hero 9 features HyperSmooth 3.0. And I thought the first HyperSmooth release was fantastic with the Hero 7 Black. This is next level stabilization. They've also got Horizon Lock. So I am moving the camera back and forth, tilting it, and the Horizon Lock is keeping it steady. This is truly gimbal-like stabilization. Now let me show you the Horizon leveling so you can see the actual movement of the camera. So I am moving it back and forth like this. Back and forth like this. You can see I'm moving the camera and you see how the footage is just staying still? Beautiful. So now we have HyperSmooth 3.0. We also have Time Warp 3.0, and this has a big update. Now with Time Warp, you can do your Time Warp and then slow it down to real time and then speed it back up to Time Warp. So what it does is it allows you to speed through an area, then slow down to focus on something, and then speed up, a bit like this. We now have hindsight mode. Hindsight mode is available in 15 seconds or 30 seconds increments. And what it does is that you turn it on and then if you miss your shot, let's say you forget to turn on your GoPro, you can press the button and it will immediately record the previous 15 or 30 seconds depending on how you've got it set. That's fantastic if you're like practicing, practicing a move and then you nail it, but you forgot to turn the GoPro on. You turn it on, it records it. Now that does drain the battery because it is essentially recording in a loop for those 15 or 30 seconds. So just be aware of that. We can now schedule capture. So basically you put it up, you turn on the timer, you tell it what time you want it to start recording and it does so. Perfect if you want to catch those beautiful time lapses of sunsets. Something I'm very excited about using is the duration capture. And what it does is it allows you to set the time period that your GoPro is going to be recording. So let's say you've mounted your GoPro on a car 
car and you're driving somewhere, but you don't want to record 30 minutes of footage, you just want two minutes of driving footage. Well, you can set your duration capture for two minutes. Bob's your uncle, you've got two minutes of driving footage. Okay, they rolled this out on the Hero 8, but the Hero 9 is still able to live stream. It's gonna make live streaming pretty easy from anywhere. Now, like GoPros for as long as I can remember, this thing is waterproof without an exterior case up to 33 feet. They do have this little, it looks like a little door, right? On the lens side, on the side. And what this does, it allows the microphone to drain immediately as you come out of the water. So they don't sound too good as soon as you take them out of the water. That's because there's water in the mic. This is supposed to alleviate that. You know what, let's, let's go test that right now. So Harmony and I don't usually go to our community pool, but we had a good reason today because we need to test the microphone on the Hero 9 and see if that see if that drain really works. See how muffled the microphone is after we go for a swim. So it seems like a good reason to go to us go for a swim, right? Good enough. Okay, we just got to the pool and we are already arguing because Harmony does not want to get in the pool. So the pool here is only, how, how warm is it? It's probably 85, but this is 105. <laughs> this feels really good. Okay, I don't know how well <laughs> GoPro testing is by sitting in a hot tub. Oh, so um, I am gonna jump in the main pool first and then we'll chill in the hot tub. Come and get in. <laughs> okay, let me see. <laughs> Will you get in the hot tub with me after? <laughs> yes, I'll get in the hot tub. Come on. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, so this is a test of the internal microphone after it just came out of the water. I literally just stuck my head up, so hopefully it's not too gargled. Now I'm gonna do the old GoPro shake. That's usually what you have to do to clear the microphone on the older GoPro, so I'm not gonna see this until it's in post, but hopefully the sound is a little better now. You ready to go get in the hot tub? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> go to the hot tub. It's a little hot for me. Keep in mind that we're in Florida and it is it's at least 80 degrees right now outside. Let me just dunk. <laughs> We go through this every time we get in a hot tub, actually. One, two, three. And <laughs> do the next, do the next. <laughs> Not a fan of hot water. <laughs> All right, my friends, thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. I am pretty excited to try this out fully. Now, I've only had this for a couple days. I have rushed through trying out all the features so I can talk to you guys about it. But, you know, with these things take time and I'm looking forward to taking a lot more videos for you. If you got any value from this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, consider doing so right now. Hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video. And be kind, be happy, run well. I'll see you next time.